Hey everyone, this is Connors from Gundam TV and today I'm talking about IPSC competition levels. You hear us talking all the time about level one, level four matches, and you'll see that in some of the video titles when we've gone out to film some of these matches. But very quickly, let me talk you through what the different types of matches are. Let's start off by talking about a level one competition. A level one competition is a club shoot. A level one competition is also the only competition in the UK that you can attend without having done a safety course. It's intended to get people started and for clubs to run one every week or every two weeks for their own purposes and they can invite people in from the outside if they like. Level ones are the most open of all types of competition. They are potentially also the ones where you're less likely to see all of the IPSC tenets being enforced, as things are a little more lax in order to make use of the resources a club might have by itself. You will see a lot of weak hand shooting and some specific starting positions and things like that in a level one. Anything to get the complexity level up without having to go out and buy loads of new equipment. Moving on to a level two match. These are very much the same as level one matches, except you must have a safety certificate to compete. These can be action air, shotgun, mini rifle, or anything like that, but level two is where IPSC really starts to kick in and we start to see a higher level of ROs. You do have to have fully qualified ROs to run a level two. Moving on to level three, which is the most common type of match we tend to see here in the UK. It's sometimes called a national match, but of course is open to international shooters should they wish to come and shoot. A level three has a mandatory range master as well as the match director and will have fully qualified ROs throughout with unqualified ROs working supervised. Generally at level three is where you start to see more than two ROs per stage. The complexity of the stages will be going up and we'll start to see numbers of potentially 60 to 80 people attending with shot counts of around 150. Level one and level two by contrast are much, much smaller events. Moving on to a level four competition. This is the point where freestyle starts to play a bigger part in the competition. There are a lot less likely to be any weak hand stages or anything like that at level four as it strives to be closer to the level fives, but it doesn't have the same restriction on its regularity as a level five does. Level fours are generally very well attended with up 150 plus competitors, round counts of like 250 plus, and a lot of the level fours that are conducted across the world are considered mini world shoots in their own right such as the handgun shoot we attended in Serbia. Moving on to level five. Level five is the top level of competition and it is always a world shoot. These are held once every three to four years, depending on the discipline, and you have to qualify in order to shoot one. Your own region will have some qualification criteria that you need to meet in order to attain that level. Once you go to shoot, you can expect a number of competitors, 250 plus, with potentially 400 to 500 round count at this level. At level five, you'll see Iroa range officials. These are the black and white stripy shirts we have come to know and love, and you will see standard range officers working alongside them. At level five, the quality of the staff is very, very high. There is no room for error, and each shooter needs to have a completely consistent experience with the last. At level five, there can be no stipulations of shoot it, we can shoot it from this position or anything like that has to be 100% freestyle. This doesn't stop the match organizers from making very tricky stages you can, which you can only shoot weak handed, but there are some very good shooters out there who will find a way to shoot it strong hand. Something else that distinguishes the levels of competition from each other are the number of stages and the duration of the competition. A level one you can see as low as six stages, a level two can have as little as nine stages, and these are generally going to be one day competitions. They're gonna be easily accessible, competitions that anyone can shoot over a weekend or something like that. Level three competitions start to heat up a bit. A lot of them can be run in one day, but you start to see two or three day competitions at level three, and you will be seeing 12 stages plus with a recent competition here in Scotland of 14 stages in a very, very tight space. 
Level four, you'll start to see 16 to 18 stages, more even depending on which level four you're going to shoot. And it will be run over two or three days in order to get the number of competitors through. And a level five is going to be 24 or more stages. And these will be shot over a period of four to five days with a pre-match of four to five days before it. This has not been a comprehensive look of all the levels of IPSC competition. However, it's just a rough overview. So when you hear us talking about a level two or a level three, you can have some understanding as to what size and sort of competition we're talking about. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for sticking with me through it. This is Bukonov with Gunroom TV and I hope to see you soon.